Once again, Alfred Montaner changes the game on everyone. Today, Alfred visits the 2024 Boot Boat Show in Dusseldorf, Germany. Is that even how you say it? Nevertheless, let's see this full walkthrough with the amazing Alfred Montaner. Welcome to Dusseldorf, Germany, guys. Alfred Montaner here. Guys, this is, this is hall number one, the main entrance of the show. And I'll tell you right now, we are gonna see boats that we've never seen, probably nowhere in South Florida or anywhere in the States. So I'm excited about filming a little bit of what's going on here at the show. So it's a very, very big show. I know you guys might be screaming at the TV sometimes asking, why didn't he stop here? Why didn't he go there? But it's a big show, guys. So I have limited time. I'm gonna show you, that is the main entrance. And look, I mean, look, 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 let me just, let me come over here. Look, 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 just so you guys get an idea. This is the world's largest boat show. So we're in hall number one where we're starting. And we might not even get to all the halls. But if I do see some boats that I wanna film, I will film and I will tell you. And let's go ahead and walk the show. It's maybe 39, 40 degrees outside. So it's not really, really freezing. For me, it's freezing, but these are some boats that I have not seen. Um, hundred percent electric or diesel. So the hundred uh, percent electric boats are a thing over here, guys. It's, it's a big thing, big market. Look at this, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm obviously gonna be looking for brands that I don't know or, or, or companies I have yet to see. C line 35, uh, 335. Guys, this place is insane. So the good thing about this type of show, since it's indoor, you get to see the entire boat. You don't see the profile of what it looks like in the water. But yes, absolutely stunning. Now, it's actually gonna be a very interesting show because this will probably be one of the shows that people don't recognize me. Which is, which is interesting, which for me is great because I get to go ahead and show you guys boats. And, and listen, I, I have a lot of small interactions with people in the, in the States when I film in Miami or Fort Lauderdale or other show, shows in, in North America. A lot of boats I have not seen. All right, um, let's walk, let's walk from here. Big, big, uh, I mean, there's so many holes in this place, it's crazy. Oh my goodness, look at the size of this boat that they, they got in here, look at this. Look at this here. Look at the size of this boat. Wow. Unreal. Oh my goodness. All right, well, listen up. We're gonna try to see if... Oh. See, I wanna do a walkthrough on this boat. 100%, I would love to do a walkthrough on this boat. It's the Grand Trawler 62. Oh my goodness, look at this boat. All right, I'm gonna see if we can do, I'm gonna see if we do a video 
of this later guys but yes <gasps> look at vanquish oh wait a second oh i feel like i'm at home already guys vanquish this is a company that actually i've done a bunch of videos with tom and find you over there in south florida what's up guys how you guys doing hi we're fine how are you good is tom around no tom is not here he's not no no no, no. he's in america but Simon, he's in america yes what what's he doing in america selling the boats <laughs> i'm here and he's over there yeah but we are here ain't the shop in nether isn't the shipyard in netherlands yes there is yeah can i do a walkthrough later maybe with someone all right, guys. Look at Vanquish. 45. Hey, man. Are you hey, coming by later? I, I want to I do a video. You want to do it? Let's take a video. I'm serious. Let's take a video. I'm going to be back in about 20 minutes. See you later. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, look at this Vanquish. All right. So, wow, look at this, guys. You know what? I've never seen this out of the water. Vanquish is in the house. World premiere. Oh, this is another boat. Damn, look how beautiful that boat looks, guys. Man, oh man. All aluminum. Aluminum, or like they would say here, aluminium. I don't know, this always sounds weird for me. Look at this. World premiere right now of this particular boat right here. What is this here? Looks nice. I like the lines. Very nice looking boat, dude. Wow. Germany for the win. Germany's coming strong out here, guys. Man, this is nice. With Snooski yachts. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm going to do everything in my power to get it inside this boat at some point. Wow, what a beautiful hole, bro. It's a beautiful looking boat, dude. Hold on a second. Step hole two? Hold on, hold on, hold on a second. This, this thing got my attention. This thing got my attention. Now, keep in mind that they're gonna be talking about Euro pricing when I talk to them. If anybody says anything about price, they're talking Euros and Keep in mind if you're gonna have to ship something to the states. Damn, what? This thing is beautiful. What is this? Wow, that's a beautiful boat, dude. Wow, this thing is next level, dude. Oh my goodness. What does it got? Quads? It's 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 pushed by three three hundreds. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try to do a dedicated walkthrough, guys. Um, check my channel, Alfred Montana. Subscribe if you if you haven't. This is the full walking tour of the show. Wow, I'm blown away. Literally blown away. What a monster boat. Um, wow, from one monster to another. Fabro. What do we got here? Oof. Look at this thing. Dude, this is crazy too. Guys, this is the, only the first hole. Could you imagine? We got 12 to go. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do a walkthrough on this for sure. Oof, look at the, the lines on this. This is so interesting here. What is this about? This whole mechanism comes in and out. Love this. Fabro yachts. We got four winds over here with some cats. Love this. Really, really, really nice. I'll tell you, this is this is a show to come to, guys. Definitely a show to come to. A lot of selection. Wow. Fabro 45. Let's see if we can walk through later. 
Oh. Man, that thing is so nice. Wow. All right. Um, definitely gonna walk through there, guys. More boots. All right, I'm gonna have to eventually go that way. What the power walk? All right, I don't know which ones are which, but I'm gonna look for them. Delphia. Very nice. Look at this Nautic 990. Oh, I like that one over there. What is that one? Hold on a second. Hold on. Wow. So different, guys. What about this guy? Oof. Oh, my, my. Guys, I don't think I have enough time to do the videos I would want to do here, but stay tuned. Diesel electric. Look at this trawler, man. Very nice boat. Very, very nice. All right, guys, they're waving at me because I already did videos with them. Damn it, you guys caught me already. This one, this one, this one already got my attention. See, what happens, I go to the shows and I do dedicated walkthrough videos. Anna, I'm doing a walkthrough video of the show uh -huh. and I'm letting them know that I just did a walkthrough. Anna actually was translating with Alexander right here. Of this, no, no, you don't, you're good, you're good. I'm doing a full walkthrough. I just, yeah, just yeah, yeah, head. I'm doing the thing, but I'm letting them know that we did a dedicated video so they know. Guys, so these people make huge boats. They're out of uh, South Ukraine. And what does this boat look like? I, I, I saw this boat and I was like, hey, this is something that we would see in the Pacific Northwest. Look at the lines on this thing. No, but get this. Whole boat, just like this, as you see, without engines. Take your bet. What do you think? I mean, 2024 pricing, guys. That'll obviously change at some point. But right now, the BSY-97C, what you're seeing right here, take a guess. I want you to guess. 85. Alex, no, 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 stay. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just showing you in the boat. Take care. I, I did, I did, uh, he, okay. $85,000, guys. $85,000 this monster in your home obviously you need to power it it's ready to go and i already did a dedicated walk through here uh so let's go ahead and continue walking i'm gonna i am gonna cut the camera like these empty areas because this is huge and i'm just gonna go to the uh, different halls okay uh alfred montaner making a scene hey buy a hat luxuryribtenders.com wait for it All right, so we got three and we got four over there. Let's go into three and see what's going on over here. We missed two, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna try to get to as many boats as we can. I wonder how many boats. Wow, this, this hall's so much bigger, dude. Wow. All right, first and foremost, I have yet to be here. So it's all gonna be new to me. I just literally, I had to go to one and then I was like, I gotta do a video on that boat. I gotta do a video on this boat, so. And my goal is to, to, to represent Germany well and show them all these amazing boats here. And maybe you guys get inspired to come like I did. Look at this. Could you imagine Monster Mike on that? Look, you can change it from a unicorn. My wife will love this. You give her a unicorn paddleboard uh, boat, she'll die. Oh, I'm gonna have to make it happen. That is so cool, and it's got a swing. That is awesome, guys. 
I love this. It'll be the talk of the town. Talk of the town on your lakes, guys. Martininautica.com. This is like a ball of fun, dude. Could you imagine with your uh, unicorn? All right. Um, guys, I'm going to get super distracted, so punch the TV or something, because I'm the happiest person in the world right now. We got Rigo in the house. What a show. Let me tell you. I know somebody said something that I didn't really understand what he said. Malibu, we got cobalt bolts here as well and access. Look at this guy. <laughs> now this show is entirely indoors there's nothing outdoors at all look at the paint job on these boats look at that World premiere, Pelagos, Pelagosa, 33. Oof, you ain't lying about premiere. Wow. See, so yeah, I'm not gonna go on top. I hope they don't say nothing thinking I'm gonna talk. I'll go up top, but I'm not. Wow. Pelagosa 33. Wow. Nice boat, man. Where are you guys making these? Croatia. Croatia? Yes. When I take off my shoes, I'll come back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm doing a whole walkthrough of the show. Ah, okay. And yeah, I don't want to stop the edit. So, so this is the very first premiere? Uh, this is on this fair, yes. Um, I have, has this boat been in America? Not yet, you can be the first one. I am, it's, it's on my channel and <laughs> <laughs> you guys having your siesta moment here in Europe. No, we're having this siesta moment every day, <laughs> all day. I want to come to Europe, guys. This, this is everywhere. <laughs> hey, a beautiful boy. I, listen, when I come back, okay. you want to do a dedicated walkthrough so we can premiere it on my channel? After you. I'll, after come, you. I'll come back later no. and we'll film it. We'll all right, guys, that's awesome. So that's how the interactions happen. I see people having a good time. And I'm like, let's do a video. And they're like, let's go. That's awesome. All right. Beautiful boat. Comment below, guys. Hey, smash the like button. And let me tell you something. I want to thank, really, seriously, I want to thank all the people who in November, December, and early January bought a bunch of hats on my channel, luxuryribtenders.com, because that's like money that just goes back into the channel and uh, helps me, you know, do these trips and uh, thank you. I really, really want to say thank you. All aluminum here, guys. Look at this. Okay, so this is 1,690 euros. Now, some of these boats um, will be in the States, some won't. I, I mean, I know there's, there's differences as far as what you need to pay to ship stuff back Rico, real man 620 tender beautiful very 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 nice look at this tender look at this guys I'll tell you and and I've been staying in Amsterdam I've been joking around with people about the red light district and all that stuff but but it was close it was close and i had never been there and um, i actually really really enjoyed the city I, did, I mean i didn't know anything about it and i was like wow that's a pretty cool city all right what are what boats are these carrick karnick 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 here people are probably wondering who the hell is this guy I'm just somebody that really likes boats and likes showing people boats. 
And guys, for, for, for a lot of you of my audience, you know, a lot of my audience knows that I do a, a series called The Chit Show, which is me at a boat ramp. It's kind of wild, it's funny. But if you don't subscribe, you won't be pushed those type of videos. And if you're watching this, just click on uh, The Chit Show videos. They're very humorous, they're entertaining, and they're about boats as well. Oh, we got pontoon boats here in Germany. Wow, let's go. We got Parker over here uh, to, to my left. Nice pontoon boats. Here's another Karnik, bigger, bigger model. S37, it says here on the bottom. Oh, and I see rib boats. I'm so torn. I got Parker here. Okay, so this, this, these boats, the Parkers, I, I'll tell you right now, I guarantee you I've sold a bunch of these. So, I think in the States, they have a different name. I think. Um, because of, hello. Yes, this is, this is the, these are the boats, guys. We filmed these boats at the Annapolis Boat Show. We, where haven't we filmed them? Very, very va good, good value on these boats. I gotta find maybe somebody that could tell me what's the name. Uh... Okay, let me see if I get some pricing here. Okay, so for this model here, the 760 Quest, uh, price of presented unit is 143,000. They start at 75,000. I it doesn't say no shoes. Did it? Did it say no shoes? It, oh yeah, there's there, there's some people with shoes. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What is this one at? Let's see what this one is at. This one has shown $215,000. Look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this. Absolute beauty, to say the least. To say the least. We got some bigger ones over there as well. Parker is in the house, but we got a rib boat that caught my attention. And you know I'm a fanatic when it comes to ribs. And I hope to see Nova Jolly here. I hope to see a bunch of other brands out here. But yes, look at this. Carbon fiber Orca material. Love this. Oh, dude, it's powered by a jet ski. Bro, your jet ski is gonna go ahead and power this particular model. That's so sick. Selver, I think I've done a video of this boat. Where was it that I did a video of this boat? Not this particular one, but this, this company, I've done a video with them. Guys, so basically you go ahead and you just transport people with your jet ski on this. This is wild. And since it's so light, because the tubes are so light, and it's boring. You can put probably 30 people on that thing. Look, here's a smaller version of it. And then you just leave everybody on the boat. They party and you just leave. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm assuming that this system would be adaptable. They got to have a pattern on that. There has to be, right? Never seen that many silvers to, to in one spot, but I guess they're made down here. Where do, where do they make, make these boats? Sorry? Where do they make them? It's a French company. In France? Yeah, in France. So we have a factory here where we make everything. It's Sanguinet? Sanguinet. Sanguinet, yeah. okay. Near Bordeaux. Oh, so, near Bordeaux. That wasn't, that wasn't the best term that I used. Yeah. But thank you. I've seen these boats in the States and I'm actually filming them now. Okay. Thank, right. thank you. All right, guys. Now, call me bias. As much as I love these, 
Um, I like the inflatables because I'm just an inflatable type of guy. I don't know. <laughs> Call me weird. But I, 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 do, I do think the system is cool. Like, you know, imagine you're driving there and, and literally somebody's next to you just hanging out. That's so wild. And they have another brand called Wave Boat. All right, guys, let's keep on walking. We're talking. We're here in Hall 3. It's going to be a huge show. Guys, this might be multiple, multiple videos. I don't know. I like doing the long videos, but you guys don't watch the long videos. My suggestion is just watch one video and just piece it together. Pause it. Do whatever you do. Pause it again. Watch it. There's always interesting stuff that happens along the way. Future. Futuro boats, all aluminum. Let's see what this looks kind of like a tender. Dude, there's no way. There's no way that I'm gonna have enough time to do this whole show. It's just gonna be impossible. It's literally impossible. Not in two days. So, if I disappoint you because you saw that I was here and I didn't mention or see your vote. Guys, I'm only one person. I apologize. This is the same Futuro boats. And I love seeing all these different designs, different manufacturers. Wow. I won't even know what thumbnail to use. I mean, everything, everything out here is amazing. Let's see if I can get a sneak peek of, of what this looks like inside because it looks amazing. Let's see. Futuro. Look at that. Wow. This thing is, this thing is nice. This upholstery work, phenomenal. Good job, Futuro. Wow, this is badass. I'm gonna see if I talk to them privately afterwards, guys. They're rounded up. But let's continue. We got some jet skis over here. And there's some sea dudes Bombardier. BRP. Quest, aluminum halls. Over here, another one. Look at this. Boat tan complete. Twenty. Uh, no, it's not the total cover. I don't have a full price, guys. What do you guys think? I'm liking it. Looks nice. It's got a small little outboard. They have some inboard versions as well. Quest Marine. I don't know. Hey guys, look them up. This backpack is quickly getting heavy on my back. So much so that I'm starting to sweat. What is this? Marino wool. Why are you making me hot? Yeah, yes. I have my Marino wool undershirt on. And it's great outdoors. And it's not so bad indoors, but when you're working, you know? Things get hard. All right, so, oh. All right, so three, we're at three. This is four through eight. Tahatsu's here. I wonder if there's any other exclusive stuff that's happening over here. I like this. Whaler. It's a nice looking whaler right here. Look at this. 280 Dauntless. I 
I wonder if the whaler is really popular down here in Europe. Comment below, guys, if you guys uh, are in Europe. I'd like to know, obviously, a whaler is extremely popular in, uh, in North America. Tahatsu's in the house. We got some engines here. Little 140. Tiller version. What a show. Let me tell you something, guys. I am excited. Uh oh, we got Mercury to our left. And uh, we have four to eight, but three seems like it's a very big, big. So I'm working my way back. Olympia 570 holiday here in the corner, tucked away. Let's see what we got with the Olympia yacht. 15,000 euros. Five seventy holiday, fifteen thousand euros. Obviously, that would just be probably the boat, right? Wow, it's got a little cabin and everything. My audience is always screaming at me, telling me, "Why don't you put boats under fifty, fifty thousand small boats that I can't that that are affordable?" Well, here it is, guys. 15,000 euros uh, I, don't, I don't know translate that but hey that's it's not a lot of euros for a boat you power it with one of those Tahatsus that you got over there or maybe one of these Mercury's that we're gonna come up to right now oh, I don't know is Yamaha here who else is here I'm sure Yamaha is here speaking of Yamaha did you guys see that 350 that brand new 350 that I actually filmed in Toronto Brand new 350 Yamaha. And we're at Mercury, my friends. Wait for it. We got some uh, PVC inflatables here. The 600 uh, V12. It's a big boy. Makes that guy look like, uh, <coughs> like he's not 6'4". Isn't that crazy? Mercury's got a big old booth over here, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. This I like. Seeing companies that I have not seen. I like this. Selva in the house. All right, comment below, guys. What's up with Selva? I haven't seen this brand in the States. Look at this, look at this uh, 300. Damn. Damn. Look, they, these are two strokes. Are they two strokes? Yeah, they, they look like two strokes. Selva Morena. Hey guys, it took me uh, 14 hours and a three an hour car drive to come over here. Smash that like button, please. Pause the video and smash it, look for it. I need this video to actually at least pay half of this trip, at least. World premiere over here. Let's go. What is this? Is this roto molded? No, it's... What is this? 
Nee, nee. Ohne Batterien und ohne Licht. Nee, nicht da. Ach, dann auch nach, Oh, another rib on us with the Selva. Selva rib boat. What's something like this go for? Let's see. Let's see if they have some price points. Look at this. Oh yeah. Just been. It's gonna get crazy, guys. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know sometimes I talk a lot of smack, but right now I am just in awe. I am in awe, dude. Like, there's, there's a lot of selection, a lot of different things here. 50K, 50,000 euro rib boat. Now, there's, 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 there's shipping issues and stuff like that. So, so remember, one of these boats in the States will obviously be more because just to get it in there is probably going to be a certain amount to, to make it and have it over there who knows I mean but I want the people that that know this area also to see some of the show but but hey what's to say I, I, I'm sure the people at Silva want to sell boats so if there's a market for these boats in North America hey bring them down Silva has a big booth over here too next to Mercury I've never even heard of these guys until today ain't that some things huh they're probably a hundred year old coming. I don't know. Look at the diameter on these tubes, bro. Look at the look at the thickness of these tubes. This right here, I can tell you, is a monster boat. Look at the diameter on these tubes. Just in Hyperlon alone, you're talking about a lot of money. If I had to do this tube down in South Florida, just because of the cost of, of the materials for this Hyperlon, dude, you're getting a deal here. $44,000. 600 Pro MIT 100 X SR. Very, very good. Nice boat. All right, we got Yamaha in the house. Do they have the 350 over here? I think that's it. They got the Wave Runners over here. And the all new 350. And if you guys did not see my walking tour of the Toronto Boat Show, I did. A video and I want to do a sea trial Rob said that he could probably get someone to do a sea trial in Miami which is in February the Miami boat show but this is all new 350 v6 4.3 liter Yamaha engine and uh, I can't wait to see what they did with that we got Yamaha we got Honda here coming up on the other booth Wow, this is, what a show. What a show. And I'm sure we're going to miss some boats, guys. Now, this 350 here for Honda at the Annapolis Boat Show, we did a sea trial on. Super, super quiet. Good torque. Very impressed with this engine. Um, they did a really good job. And I, and I actually did a great video. It would, have, it would have been better if my camera, the one I'm using now, didn't die on me. It died on me as soon as I got to the show. And luckily, me with my wizard cin cinematography, YouTube video classes that I've taken for the last 10 years worked out and I filmed it on an iPhone. And it's not my best video. But I got you guys to see it, which, is, which was my, the point, right? What I really wanted you guys to see. Got some small boats here, what looks like some wood boats. Wasser Wanderboot, 35,500 euros. It's nice looking. Is this all wood boats? Now, in this month alone, I went to the um, Outer Banks in North Carolina and I actually met Sonny Briggs, the legend, sport fish legend, Sonny Briggs, who, you know, the Outer Banks of North Carolina is infamous for sport fish, bayless, um, there's so many. Blackwell, there's so many unbelievable manufacturers in that area. And I talked to Valentino Boats and Manuel from Valentino Boats took me on a tour of the entire area. 
it was it was awesome and i actually did a uh, a walkthrough video of valentino but their factory what's what do we got here rib jack what's up with rib jack let's see oh yeah you, you guys notice how sometimes it's like the it's like the hyperline just drives me it drives me in it's like oh there's one All right, so a 350 Honda here without the lower unit on. Honda has a huge booth, dude. Very, very nice. Now I know why uh, hall number three was so big. Sicily, Italiano, molto bene. Let's go see you guys. I flunked, I flunked Italian class. I did. I had it one semester in high school and I was like, damn. Didn't work out. But yes, yeah, so we've done some pretty, pretty awesome videos on my channel. Oof, this thing looks so, so sick. Oh my goodness. Mira pa esto, caballero. This is this is beautiful. Wow, what a beauty! Look at that console. Oh. Wait, it's got a twin next door. Can you can can somebody tell me below in the comment section why I've never been to this show? Maybe the 13, 14 hour flight, but. Other than that, I think I'm here every year now, for sure, for sure. Carbon fiber brown, beautiful dude, look at this thing, absolutely awesome, to say the least. Wait, 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 there's one more, different, different, a little different, the holes. The, the, the console's a little different. Look at this console. Still badass. Damn. Wow, this, this, is, this is a nice boat, guys. Let me see how sharp the entry is. Just... What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Hey. Very nice boat. Very, very nice. All right. Um, All right, um, we're we're walking, guys. We're walking. We're we're talking. Pulsar. These are like electric uh, surfboards. Battery operated. Cool. That's awesome, and it's got a handle and everything. That, that's something I'd try. Look at that. You know, having fun on the water doesn't necessarily mean just being on the boat. Like some, there's underwater scooters and. Look at this work of art. I saw this. Wait a second. This is the boat that's, this is the boat that I saw at the Toronto Boat Show. Yes, it is. This is it, guys. Wow, this boat. Oh, man. I, I fell in love with this boat. This boat is beautiful. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now I can actually get a little closer, right? I filmed this same company at the Toronto Boat Show. It might even be the thumbnail, but without boards. It goes to show how the markets change. What do you guys think? Oh, now, now we can see it too. No, that's okay. Beautiful, guys. Look at that thing. What a beauty. All right. Vlog. Um, Suzuki's over here to our left. We'll pass by there both quick. See some of their motors. Guys, years ago, I have to do an updated video. I went and I did a outboard video of all the manufacturers that make outboards. 
and uh, I let the, the actual people from the companies talk about their products and why somebody would compare one versus the other. I, I mean, I was very unbiased. I just had conversations with people and posted it on YouTube. So I don't have any affiliations with any of these brands. So, and even if I did, I, I would tell you. If I like something, I like something. If I don't, I won't tell you. But if I like it, I'll tell you I like it. I like this. <laughs> this, this, is, this is something I like. I can see myself over there in the New River in Fort Lauderdale, passing by, and this beauty, wow. Talk about woodworking. Woodworking for the win. All right. All right, we got a uh, made in Norway. Dude, I'm liking the fact that there's so many ribs out here. Why can't you guys bring these boats to America? People, you need to start buying them. Can you imagine how fast you can go on this? This has seat belts on it, dude. Suspension, seat belts, everything. How fast would this do? How fast is this boat, guys? How, f how fast? 60 knots. 60? With, with, with what power? With the 350. 350? Guys. 60 knots. Thank you. Beautiful boat. Thank you. I love it. Which country boat? America. American. American. Yeah, you're nice uh, to meet you. Alfred Montaner. Yeah. You, um, uh, Show. Yeah. And every time I see an inflatable, I'm, I'm loving it. I love this whole setup. This, this thing must fly because there's no weight on this. <laughs> I love it. It's, yeah, it's and, perfect. Uh, it's got seat belts and everything. Seat belts, yeah. And uh, the concept here is the new console, everything, and uh, you get this uh, feeling. I like that. With the mid console. Uh, yeah, the, the the air goes into your shorts. I love it. Yeah, you have like, a <laughs> YouTube channel. Or yeah, 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 yeah. If you check uh, Alfred Montaner on uh, YouTube. Alfred. Alfred Montaner. Uh, Alfred. Yes. Alfred. Or if not, you just type in this right here, Chicho, on on your phone. Yeah. And you'll see yourself on there. Okay. Yeah, and then just yeah, get get my name, my my information. My name is Alfred Montaner, but but a lot of people know me because of this. But but I'm a big big fan of ribs, cool. and I like this rib, guys. I love it. And what what what's it called? The Cito what? Cito XR7. XR7, guys. Yeah. Beautiful boat. Look at this. Beautiful, absolutely stunning. Whew. Wow. From that to a unicorn. Literally. This is a thing over here. We just saw one of these uh, boat types earlier. Is paddleboarding a thing over here in Europe? I just want to buy this for my wife. I just want this part right here. Now, I, I, if I had a lake, I love this. My wife is into unicorns. I just need a lake now. What do you need? Tell me. I need the lake. I don't have the lake to put it in. I'm sorry. But you can <laughs> you gotta, put that in your uh, bedroom or... Yeah, right? That's what I said. I, 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 I'm going to take it to her. Okay, so are, are, are these all roto molded? Yes, all. Where are you making these? Uh, um, Reggio Mila, Italy. In Italy. I love this. And you can... Can you put other things if you wanted to or just, just a unicorn? You can put, put different molds of different... Ah, for the moment, we have only unicorns. Okay. I love this. What's the what's the name of the company? Aqua Blue. Where can they go online? Aquablue.com or where can Aqua Blue? Aqua Blue. Aqua Blue uh, boat, uh, pedal boat, but a pedal. All right. Awesome. I love it. Thank you so much. Welcome. Guys, I got to find a lake. Look at this. Look at this. How much fun is this to bring into your lake, guys? We got some kayaks here as well. All right. We got some more boats over there, but we got some music also there in the background. Jet Psycho, uh oh. Um, dude, Alex Folgaro, friend of mine, he does kayak videos and he would die if he sees this right here. This is powered by you guys. You want to lose weight? It's a hydrofoil. 10 minutes. Can I ask you a question? Does that wing, does those wings go down? 
Or they're no, fixed? No, all is fixed, but mm -hmm. the front wing move for, for regulate your flight, you know, for the lift. So, so you'll be out of water completely with, with, yeah. with your own propulsion? No, you have electric assistance. Oh, okay. Like an e-bike, you know. Oh, so there's an electric uh, component yeah. to that. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm just filming. I'm, I'm so fascinated. This is so cool. This might make me lose weight. <laughs> so you, you have the battery here. Okay. And yeah, you are, you are assisted by the battery, but you need to paddle all the time. So it can be very sporty or very easy because you have five modes of... of show, show me where the, where the modes are. Uh, just here. You have the remote control. Um, it can be five Okay. Speed. Assist, uh, How fast can this go? It's 10 knots. 10 knots, and you're above water completely. Yeah. Five, totally above. How do you how do you turn? Where's the helm? Is this? Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. Do do that so they can see that. Yeah. Go do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. That's that's really cool, dude. How much would something like this cost? This one with electric assistance is 20k euro. 20 20,000 euros. Yeah. 20, euros. Do you have any of them in the states yet? Have you seen any sent down to America? Yeah. You do? Yeah, we have some clients in Miami. That's where I'm from? Yeah. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> All right, where, where are they have one? Uh, we don't know the name, that, that, that's particular. Guy. Well, when I see it on the water, I'm going to tag you guys on my Instagram. Yeah, okay. Where can they go online if they wanted to get more, more information? Yeah, that's a JetCycle. JetCycle.com? Yeah. Okay. So give me my card. Guys, here, let me see it real quick. Yeah. There it goes, guys. Yeah. Ronan, Ronan, right? Yeah. Awesome, man. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Cool Bye. stuff thank over you. here in Dusseldorf, guys. Germany for the win. Um, 650 over here. Wow. Listen, my knee hurts. You still haven't smashed that like button, but I don't care because I'm really enjoying myself. What a show, guys. What a show, what a show, what a show. Like this. All right, we gotta get me away from inflatables. I'm, I'm being a little bit too inflatable and it looks weird. It looks weird, guys. <laughs> it looks weird. It's only boats, it's inflatable boats. I'm not watching videos of people popping balls, relax. <laughs> I know, I know it's a thing, guys. I know, I thought it was weird too. But whatever. Some people might think I like it. I like inflatables is weird. All right, this is, this is, what is this? Is this, is this fiberglass or, or is this aluminum? Oh, that's aluminum. Galax aluminum boats. Well, if I would have read that sign earlier, I would have known immediately, but the, the, the freaking build is so good, I couldn't tell. I look for welds, guys. I look at your welds. And normally on smaller boats like this, you don't see a lot of the finish work. And this has a lot of finish work. I look at this guy's opening the rod holders. So I've noticed a trend over here. A lot of people like to sh exhibit the boats without the motors. They want you to choose, right? Look at this, I love this. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, 100% there's no way I'm going to be able to do this whole show. There's no way. I mean, I would have to be a monster. Or a four-hour video. And listen, I'm, I'm willing to do a four-hour video if you guys are willing to watch. In pieces, not all four hours. I don't want you guys to have that much of me. My wife will get jealous. I'm that one, guys. I know. I just, I'm, I'm playing around, guys. Relax. What's going on here? I like this. Look, we got some bass boats over here too. It's like the bass fishing a thing over here. What's going on, man? How you doing? Hello, hey. Man, what's up with these uh, bass boats? Are, are is, is Europe a big bass? Do they have a lot of bass fishing down over here in Europe? Is it a big thing? God, it's push to throw the bass. It's what? Push. Yeah. yeah. I like this. This is a very nice looking boat. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this thing, guys. It's, it's got a blade down here from power pole. Look, oh, you put the lights on. Beautiful, I love that. Yeah, anchor down, put it back down so they can see. Okay guys, a lot of people when I'm filming at the boat ramp, the, the chit show, they basically what this is, is it's, it's, yeah, it's a shallow water anchor. And basically, they put that, and all of a sudden, you're anchored without throwing an anchor, and it's quick. You don't catch fish, and you leave. You put it back up. Put it back up. Okay. Oh, can you put it back up so they can see? Can you put it back up? So, so, and then Power Pole will sell these individually, and you can put them on any boat. So now you guys know. Thank you so much. So this is the Nitro Z221. Awesome. Hey, this is, this is a bass fisherman's dream. Like, guys, look at this. You, what do you need three Garmin's up here for? Please tell me, because you're here the whole time fishing and you want to stock the fish that good. And my suggestion, highly recommend you wear hook sunglasses, which I wear, and I'm an ambassador for them. And you can see in the water and you can stock any fish I think better than any other sunglasses. My opinion, I'm biased, and I actually have my logo on some of them, not all of them, but I'll put a link here or a QR code, and if you're interested in looking at those glasses, these are the ones that I wear, or the brand I wear. Fishing is about having an advantage, guys. Whatever advantage you have is the difference. And the guys that do this stuff professionally, if you look at them, they have great glasses. If you look at them, they have all the tools necessary, all the edge, anything that gives them an edge, they're gonna want. Rhineland boot. We got a 7.5 Mercury here. Look at this. Wow, this looks like a fishing beast. Look at all the space on this little boat, dude. Even to store stuff to seat a bunch of people. Wow, okay. <clears throat> We're walking, guys. We're talking. Over here out from Montaner, Germany. Dusseldorf. I know, I know. Punch me in the face by the time I... I mean, I've said that name probably 10 times. I couldn't even figure out how to get off the highway. Big shout out to uh, Google Maps. <laughs> Like, I didn't even know when I crossed into Germany. I was looking for a sign, you know, like in Florida, we have signs that says, welcome to Florida. Welcome to Georgia. Over here, I couldn't understand anything. All right, we got another rib boat. And yeah, rib boats are a thing in Europe, guys. And, and one of the reasons they're a thing, oof, this is crazy, is because they're light. And when they're light, they use less fuel consumption and fuel is expensive in Europe. It's done by leaders. I'm gonna take a quick pause. I'm gonna continue here, but I have to swap out batteries. So wait for it. Well, we're back. I took a water break and I changed my battery because I don't like editing, guys. I don't like editing, not because I'm lazy. It's because I just don't like doing work. If you want to consider that lazy, then that's on you. I'm trying to work the least amount possible and make the most money, like everyone else. And I still haven't figured it out and 99.9% .9 of the people haven't either. So we're on the same boat, literally. And it's a rib boat right now. Aqua Spirit here. All aluminum, guys. Look at this, look at this. I love this little ladder. I love that. Like that, like that, like that. What does something like this cost over here? 
1,900 euros. Aluminum boat. I'll tell you right now, it's a nice boat. It's priced right too. Very, very good price. Spirit 530 DC. This is a little bit bigger. How much is this bad boy? No pricing on this guy. Oh no, it's over here. 32,100. Now, some of you guys are probably saying, well, why are both so much more expensive in the US? Supply and demand, guys. And as long as there's people that are willing to buy it, why are you going to lower your price, right? But they also have uh, special taxes and stuff like that, from what I've been told. I like this. I like how this molds around the tube. This is Hypalon, guys. There's, there's different chambers, right? So right here's the chamber. You see this chamber right here? This right here will be inflated to that side. And that's one chamber. So this can go flat and nothing happens because this chain chamber has a baffle inside that just separates the air from here. So the next one baffle uh, would be here. See, there's a baffle here. So you can pop this tube inside. You could eventually patch it, but it's not gonna sink the boat. And then this will be its own chamber, right? So one chamber, and you'll see the, the valves. You see these valves right here? Those small valves are where you would put for these two back ones, for the two back. And then this one here is for that corner one. And then this one here should be around here somewhere, probably under here somewhere. Or where, there, no. Oh, there, there it is, there it is right here. See that? So, people ask me why I like rib boats, because they're super safe. And it's so hard to sink a rib boat. You can have the worst day out on the water. Uh, look, you can, you can actually, say, say, you, say you get turned over. You capsize. It's still gonna float. You, I mean, if you, if, you, if you get capsized again, you'll be alive. All right, this, this is this is beautiful this is a hybrid type style right so your top layer is is fiberglass and oh, oh oh no it's not oh the front the whole front the whole front is fiberglass and then it becomes hypalon interesting this is kind of similar to czar super rib over here wow i gotta look back at these guys all right i'm gonna come back to them over here real quick but before i go back to super rib i want to show i want to show this guy 3d craft here also behind me which i, I think you guys will enjoy look at this guy wow Okay, 3D craft. Look at this. Wait a second. What do you guys think about 3D craft? Norden 695. Oof. Pacific Northwest style vote, guys. This in the Pacific Northwest <laughs> will be a monster. I love this. Excuse me, where are you guys making these? Sorry? Where are you making these boats? It's made in uh, China. In China? And uh, it is, uh, the company is in French. It's a French company? Yeah. Where can they go online to get information on this? Because I'm doing a video of the show. Oh, I speak very... Well, where, 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 can, where can they go? What's, what's the website that they can go to your, to your site? Do you have a website that they can yeah, go to? Yeah, we have a website. Uh, Let's see, guys. Like, so what, what, no, that's fine. Well, this, this, this particular boat, how much is this boat right now in, in the show? Uh, in the show, less... Uh, 
dollars uh, less than that. Yeah. So about seventy-five, seventy thousand dollars. Right, it is uh, this less uh, fifteen thousand. Fifteen percent. Huh? Fifty percent. Oh, okay, okay. Eighty-one thousand eight hundred twenty-five, or fifteen percent off, guys. Okay. So okay. So let me see that, that flyer. Okay, 3D craft. So under a hundred thousand dollars. Okay, what is what is this? How much is this one? Under forty thousand dollars? Are you gonna be sending any of these to the American uh, market? American market? Yeah, to America. Any no, of this? Not yet? Not yet. Not Only yet. Europe. Only Europe so far. Yeah, for the moment, yeah. Okay. We start this model. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, he said he's French, guys, and he did not. But I'll tell you right now, um, price point, a lot of value. A lot of value for your money. Very nice looking boats. Now, you, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I've gone to the Pacific Northwest and I have filmed uh, many Stavy craft, which are from New Zealand. Similar style, obviously they're not here, I haven't seen them, but price point guys, 3D craft, I don't know, I don't know the boat, so, but hey, let's do some research. All right, we're gonna go back over here. I hope that music didn't, I gotta see these guys. All right, what's up with Super Rib? Super Rib 27. You guys know that I'm a fan of rib boats. I, uh, guys, if, if there's a rib boat, you might as well just pause and leave because I'm, I'm going to pass every single one of them and look at all of them. Ah, yes. No, and, and the beautiful thing about this is there's no small talk. Guys, not, not that I don't like talking to people. I just, I'm enjoying this. I'm smiling now because I know after the fact, people are going to say, yo, you know, wow, damn it, he got me. He got me, damn it, he got me. What, what was that? I'm sorry, you guys said something? Damn it, they got me. Yes, they got me, they got me. I was just saying, I was just saying that it's so good not to be recognized and boom. I heard it, I was like, damn it, I was just, well, listen, a uh, big fan of the boats. Big, big fan of the boats. <laughs> What's up, guys? Uh, guys What's going on? Uh, All right, guys. Nice to meet you. I'm Angelo. Angelo, look. So, I have an Italian name, but I'm from Croatia. Okay, so, so Angelo, I was looking at the boats. Beautiful. I, I've been, I'm doing a tour of the entire show. I came over here to Germany. I love rib boats. He obviously knows I love rib boats. And I was just saying right now, I was like, I love coming to the shows because nobody recognizes me. No, no. And, then, and I'm kind of like with my head down a little bit. You can run, but you can <laughs> All right, so tell me about this. I was looking at this 27. So tell me a little bit about this 27. And then we got a 30 here. What, what's, what do we got going on here? So our philosophy to, is uh, to offer something different to the market. Yes. First, I want to apologize maybe on my bad English. No, no, listen, trust me. I'm, I'm in Europe. I'm, you're not over there. Yes. Where, I'm, I have to adapt to you. No, so, no so, because I'm, uh, I'm uh, MTV, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> there you go. We are the generation that was uh, yes. born and raised on MTV. So yes. when you say English for us in Croatia, that is US English, not British English. Yes. So that is. I, and, and I'll English. tell you, I'm, I've been thankful. I've been traveling and I've been here in, in Amsterdam and now in Germany. And I, I find it convenient that a lot of people speak English. Yes, because if Poland, not in Netherlands, yes, a lot of other in other part of the Europe, you know, not so good. Not so you guys haven't taken these out to to America. I haven't seen Super Rib out there. No, Super Ring is a young Super Rib is a young brand. So at uh, this point, we have three models. Uh, we have a uh, 30 foot in uh, open version and in cabin version. They uh, share the same hull, but uh, the deck is different. And uh, to offer something. Uh, Smaller with the same quality we have produced uh, 27 foot. I think this for 20, one engine. This 27 looks amazing. I love it this. Is, it is nice. I so love this. Let's go. Let's go see this 30 real quick. But yes, uh, guys, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. I'm walking. I'm walking. I'm, yeah, walk. Walk with me. Talk. Talk to me. Uh, what we want to produce? 
uh, we want to produce top quality mm -hmm. yacht tenders. So yeah. When you step down from the flybridge, you mm -hmm. have the same feeling and the quality of materials and everything. You know? Yeah. To have that yacht finish. So uh, you won't find this uh, finish and this uh, type of quality in the rib section nowhere. You yeah. can work on all other brands, but you won't buy it. So now this is all fiberglass. Uh, it is uh, vinyl ester. Oh, okay, vinyl yes, ester. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, vinyl ester, not yeah, ester. Yeah. And all the t-tops are made uh, entirely from carbon. That uh, t-top on thirty it is made from uh, forged or cast carbon. I love this. And and this this red one is the same thing, obviously. Same hull. Same hull. From the stern up to the steering. Let's wing. jump in this one. Let's jump in this one if you don't mind, because they're gonna see that on. Uh, they can see that. Go 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 go. So you you have your ladder right here. Is that what you're doing showing? No. Touch it oh, with oh, your oh. hand. They are produced with the uh, oh, yeah, counter wow. press yeah, on yeah. every part. Do I, do I need to take off my shoes or we're good? No, no, you're good. All right, guys. We got, this is real teak that we're, we're standing on. We're, we're so talking this, on real teak. This is natural teak. It is completely made on CNC. So I get the whole uh, boat in just eight pieces. I can just find uh, Oof, a this is joint. This is beautiful. You guys killing it. I love it. But it is uh, finished with the gel coat. So. Love this. And, and okay, and I see you have some Orca, that's Orca Hypalon? Orca Hypalon, mm -hmm. uh, Ocean Flex Tint Cables, mm -hmm. Forged Carbon Handlebar, Handrails produced by us. You won't find it nowhere on the entire show. I like this, that you could just step on here and put the actual... Look yes. at this, guys. Love this. All right, I'm in. So, what we do? This is our invention here. I don't know in the US, but in Europe you can find it on the rubber boots. Mm -hmm. You just fold the cushion, you, you don't take it off. Boom. Easy. I love Engine it. Engine room. You can even counter press there. Two bilge pumps, base tank, fuel, water separated, three batteries, and everything. And here, here are the main switches from Web. You have springs, you have gasket, and you have the lock with the spring, so you don't have a noise. Yeah. And when you close the latch, boom. No, no noise. Easy. Like kitchen door. It's. Let me tell you guys, finishes incredible. Here, here is possibility. Think. I always tell my customer you need to have the sink, you know, just to wash your hands after the mooring. You can place the stove here, but you don't need that on this type of a vessel. Very, very smart. I love this. Thanks. So very, very, very cool layout. The main important thing, since we are in the heart of the Mediterranean, in the summer it is pretty hot. Mm -hmm. It is the fridge. So 65 liters of the fridge is here. Yes. Here. You can stand or you can sit, it's up to you. We always integrate our... I like that. Our gauges, no matter Mercury or Yamaha, Garmin or Simrad, Lawrence Raymarine, it's up to the customer. And one thing that I love the most is this... Scan stripe. Yeah, always. Go yes. With Guys always go with the scan Yes, strip. scan stripe so is going to charge your because phone. You are always in a short trousers in Croatia when you are boating on the summer and you are always watching where your phone is. It's you can't watch out for Montana's channel if you don't have battery. Of course. <laughs> it's always here. Guys, that'll charge your phone wirelessly. Android, iPhone, it doesn't matter. It'll, yes. it'll charge, charge them and both. On our boat, standard equipment is a CISO. Okay. Digital switching. So you, have, you can have it here or you can have it wherever do you want. And awesome. Always integrated with the engine. So Croatia has uh, like 1,000 of islands and in, uh, on our seat is mainly the eye navigation. So th this is why I have the screens. Please be my guest. Oh, okay, guys, let me get in here. Um, all right, let me step down. Wait for it. So a lot of people right now, if I started the video, they wouldn't even know 
that were in a red boat. Yes. You, they know, were, you know the difference. I, I know the difference. Uh, yes. Do you know why? Look at this, guys. Look at this. You have a big Lumar window above your head. Look at this, guys. Not there. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, Look at this. I can't even, I can't even show you guys. Look at that, oh. guys. Yeah. So, and we have a head here as well, right? Yes, and one thing, why you have so much space? You see where the tubes are finished? Yes. On that black part? Yes. So in a rib boat, you don't have a big cabin, but here you have huge cabin. Underneath you, there is a table, mm -hmm. and here is our electricity, you can check it. Mm -hmm. All your cables come in and out of there. And and through is there is there a wireless panel accessible to the dash right here from from here? No. Oh, the dash you, has a uh, hinges. Oh, you just do okay. This and you install whatever they Ma Maintenance, guys. You got to think about maintenance too. All right. Um, I'm the guy who's assembling it. Oh not yeah. Selling, not <laughs> selling. All right, all right. Let's see what we got over here. Um, I have a big backpack on, so. So the, this can be open or closed, separate, whatever you want. Here you have two compartments. Stereo is here. Mm -hmm. So when you are in cabin, you turn it on and off here and uh, it is connected with NIMI 8 to the Garmin. Mm -hmm. So when you are out, you just turn it on the Garmin. And here it is like kitchen. See this, you cannot slam it. <laughs> I love that. Let me, let me close this real quick. And let me get out through here so I can show them that. Because guys, I'm wearing a big backpack and I do not want to scratch anything on this boat. Let me see if I can get a little bit of that head now. Just, yeah, I wanted to show this. Yes. Love that. So, you know, you know, while I was, while I've been walking the show, you know, it's been a little difficult for me to tell the American market how how many advantages ribs have. Because uh, they think it's going to pop and you're going to sink. No. That's no. what they think. I know. I completely and I was, understand. I was explaining to them about the different baffles that separate the air chambers and all that yes. stuff. On our boat, you see, you have six chambers. So if you puncture any of them, you, you still will be floating. So even without air chambers, totally deflated, yeah. you, the hull is still floating on the boat. Well, I did a video on my channel where I deflated my boat completely. Yes, because that is the main turn to get certificate from our, you know, A, B, C, and C, yeah. the creation to that you can produce the boat. Yeah. So with total deflated tubes, it needs to float on the water. Yeah. And uh, here is the dashboard, here are the door we have equipped this with a joystick and Whoa. here on front the main thing for the ring boat is these gadgets so you put the lifting strap here you have four straps you just lift your boat out and in and out of the water you don't place the strips around the tubes Okay, I, I noticed that when I was actually walking before you guys recognized me. Yes. I said, I said, look at this. They, they have fiberglass and then they incorporate the tubes. Yes, it's very much different. You know? Because now we have a complete wall. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of space inside, you can see. So, okay, so that, is this reinfo reinforced yes, into... The in plate is down there. All, all the way... Because we don't spare on materials. This brand, this boat has like a little less than four tons. And it is 30 foot. A rib boat for we are like 30 percent heavier than the competition okay so this hole right here is this same boat different layout this is yes, the open the version one. yes the open. Red is I, open. Love, I love that and this is the closed version i love that only difference in is in in the deck so here is that big window that i told you yeah back into the cabin love that and now one big advantage of our boats is that you can, uh, to our boats, you can come from the stern mm -hmm. and you can come from the front because we hide the, the windlass down there. So you can. Aren't they glad? Aren't my subscribers glad that he recognized me? Yeah. Because now they just got actual full walkthrough yes. 
of a boat that I think is built very good and well thought out. And I can tell you know about boats because sometimes I say to myself, wow, I wish it would do this, I wish it would do that. It's just, it's been hard to get the American market to understand how great these boats are. America is just discovering the rib sector. They're starting. Yes, and uh, when you compare 30 foot plastic boat with a rib, on plastic boat, it's uh, like a small yacht. You have a lot of space, a lot of everything. But in terms of navigation, you cannot compare a rib to a plastic boat. It is like you are driving car with suspension and without. Yes. You don't need to watch about the weather. Big waves, small waves. With the rib boat, you are always home. Go. But with the plastic, yeah, you're, you're gonna home, sink. But like this, you yeah. Know. I would, I would say in the beginning when I was when I was doing videos on my channel, I say, if it's not a rib boat, it's a sinkable. Yes. All right. So we we got big big cleats here in the front of the bow as well. I love this. Okay, so where can they go online? Um, I definitely, I think they're gonna love it for sure. I don't doubt that my audience is gonna, where can they go if they wanna get some information on Super Ribs? You can find us on Instagram. The best platform for US is Instagram. So okay. find us on Instagram, it is Super Rib with a lower slash. Because rib in US means ribs for eating, guys, come on. <laughs> Scan this for more info. Uh, okay, guys, scan that if you want more info right there. There you go, super rib, guys, over there. Thank you so so much. Made it easy for that. Because we, when we wanted to patent our name, mm -hmm. rib, it is ribs, ribs, ribs. And then I need to move the lower slash after super rib on Instagram so you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, uh, that's why my main website is called Luxury Rib Tenders. No, and look at that. So, so, so. People are, are wonder why I have my site called Luxury, right? It's Luxury yes. Rib, and this is a tender. Okay, so, so now, guys, thank you so much. Um, I gotta keep on walking. I gotta keep on walking. But I'm gonna give them. I'm gonna. I'm gonna give them. But I haven't shown you the best one. Go, go, go! I, 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 I gotta. I'm gonna run out of battery. Go, no. give them. Give me. Uh, Wait, hold on. Let me see the sign you just took off. Boarding with staff only. I'm here trying to leave, and boom, he's like, get over here. So, listen, guys, quickly, a few info. This is 30 foot. <laughs> Maximum power on okay. 30 foot is 1,000 horsepower. So you can install two Mercury's 500. On these, on that one are two Mercury's V10 400. Mm -hmm. Special one, is stands mm -hmm. S1 or special one, special model. Mm -hmm. So when we go above 600 horsepower, we reinforce the hull with the carbon fiber. Okay. So you build your engine, 708, 900, 1000 horsepower, it's up to the customer. Mm -hmm. And all the equipment, it's up to the customer. So let's go on. All right, guys. I'm, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy right now, guys. I'm, gi I'm giving them way too much rib boat, rib boat knowledge in one video. <laughs> let's go, guys. All right. Same, same hole, different layout, completely. Same, uh, different layout. Uh -huh. You don't have this compartment on the floor, but you have mm -hmm. bigger tank, 545 yeah. liters. Everything is the same. Yeah. This thing here. Uh. This thing here, it is because people ask me, how fast did we go? I tell them 55, 56, 60 knots. When? And then I tell them, okay, now you will now see, you're gonna see it. Because it is connected to the gadget. All With the engines come completely out of the sea. Mm -hmm. These are the highest engine because it is V10 configuration. Okay. And when it goes, when I tilt it up all the way, it is completely out of the sea. Okay, which job? So how fast, how fast is this, this rib going? How fast uh, did this rib go? Come here and I will show you. Oh boy. We're going to have some proof on the GPS, guys. Wait for it. Guys, I love Mercury. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. This is the... Uh, all right. This is peak speed of this boat with 800 horsepower. But have one thing in mind. We are not racing boat, we are pleasure boat. And we still go above 50. Above yeah, that's, 50 that's, that's a very fast. That's a very fast boat, guys. I like this dash too. I like how you guys... Oh no, we can't have music on the video. I'm not, it's no. gonna be a problem. Um, I love it. Look, so he's got the scan strut over here charging as well. No, directly listen, onto his phone. Forged carbon dashboard. You see this? I do. See the Tito. 
Same thing. I like that. Yes. Let me see the front of this. Handlebars. You see, you see, I, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan. I'm a bigger fan of this layout of than than the in just yes. because just because of where I boat, right? And and this 27 is 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 amazing as well. And now for the ladies. Ta da! Ta -da. Such a small boat. Ta da! Damn it! I I'm not gonna want to leave. I'm back to America, no, man. No, You're no, making no. me hard for me to leave. Come on, come on, bro. We have <laughs> super rib beer. We, you have super rib beer? Yes, we will show you that. <laughs> All right, guys. You wait, will wait. from US to Croatia, come on. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, and we still have about eight hauls to do here at the Check boat this. show. So you just fold the cushions. I love that. That's so smart. I love that. Boom. I love that. I really, really like that. Such a smart design. Everything accessible. Boom. Same thing. So you just fold this up, get yes. in here like that, without even taking yes. off your cushions. But listen to this. Listen to the plastic noise. Nothing. There's no slamming on these boats, guys. All right, well. You have even Lumar window here if you want to read your papers just, by Lundo. Yeah, There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you don't have to try to impress me. This, is, this thing is, is an amazing boat, guys. And then on the front, you have the same setup, so you can easily come uh, from the boat to the stern you just fold this cushion up you stay there there and here music it's optional we fill it up with fusion with mm -hmm. the led speakers american style everything is flashing guys yeah yeah right yes i know i listen like, I, yeah. I would love to see these over here in the states i would Me love too. i would love to see them i'll yeah. tell you right now this this boat in miami this, this i can see i can see multiple of these rib boats on the docks or in the back of the houses of the areas where I yes. film. But the main thing is that I cannot show you here, guys. It is navigation of this boat. And that is big handicap for me. Sea trial, where, where can you do a sea trial? Where? In Croatia. Croatia. Yes. Well, we I mean, how far is it? <laughs> how far is it from Florida? From Florida. <laughs> from Frankfurt, then one and a half hour with the plane, you are there. Wait we, for it. Miami, Frankfurt, Frankfurt split. Come on, guys. Tony Wait. Kukoc, Goran Ivanišević, they, they should, came from... Should, you know should, I go, should I go and do a sea Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay, should I do? Put it below. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. guys, on, Super Ribs, it's badass okay. boats, guys. I'm telling yes, you, big fan. Uh, and, I, you know, I've been stingy and I've been telling my audience that I love sh rib boats and I've been showing them the whole time. Yes. I've been showing them. So, but I have to go. I love to stay, but I want to show them. Everything. You need to come back and test I will, it. All right, I, I will. I will come back, and you I'll be here. I'll be here today me. and tomorrow. So when I get, when I'm not filming, I'll come by and I'll talk to you uh, off camera. I love it. Beer. And drink a super rib. Give them, a, give the, uh, give the one beer to no, the U.S. No, please. but but yes, but not now because I I can't drink it now. But I'll come back. You're in you Europe. Can it, uh, you can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> listen, listen, boat. listen. Look, you're gonna. Check this out. Lad. This is V10. Uh -huh. It is completely out of the water and you won't break your top coat. So, with the V8 mm -hmm. or V6, you can even do walk around. Nice. That is the most important thing. So, 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 so you thought about all the Everything. situations. So you've had problems and people when have problems, no. you fix them. No, no, no. You've learned from people's problems. Yes. There you go. I won't mention now the brand. We were importers of two cheap bands to Croatia, mm -hmm. Reboots, mm -hmm. and we want to try something, uh, offer something different, and see what is missing. Mm -hmm. And that is why you have Super Rip guys now. Come well, will this will this boat plane out on one engine? YouTube, YouTube Super Rip channel. Subscribe. You will see a lot. Of what, videos. guys? If this thing planes out on one channel, on one engine, hey. Give him your, 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 your name again. My name is Angelo and my name is Italian, but I'm Croat, so. Okay, hey, big shout out to you guys. Super ribs, wait for it, Alfred Mont. Yo, wait for a special oh, one here. I'm coming back, put my name on that one. Put my name on that one. No, you will go with it. You're gonna make me work more. It's gonna be heavier all, the, all this whole time. No, no, just, oh, man. Oh, just a little bit, yeah. little bit. Wait, you're gonna make me work? I still have a lot of walking to do, dude. No, 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 toss out the water and put the beer in no. the back. Hey guys, get rid of the camera. Listen, I'll come back, I promise. Okay. No, okay, no, okay. no, I, 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 listen. We're kidding. Okay. I, I'll put whiskey in it too when no, I come we back. Have, we have a few no. boxes. No, no. And you see one more different. 
you see our anchor. So it is I, always there. I, I love this. This this right here, when I walk so in. So you can hit the shore with this, nothing will Listen, happen. Andrew, when I saw this right here, I said, man, this is well thought out. I really like that. Uh, so stop kidding. It took us almost eight to nine years to develop such a product. It's not a uh, one night product. No. So, so what, what in Europe, where are you seeing a lot of demand or a lot of interest for this particular uh, model? In Adriatic Sea as a uh, tender to yachts. Okay. So that is our main focus to produce the boat. So he will now close the anchor down. Oh, he's going to bring it down? There it is, guys. No bar. No bar. DJI. I gotta go. Bro, see you later. Hey, that was that was killer. Alfred Montaner, guys. I spoke too soon, dude. I spoke too soon. I knew it. I knew it was too good to be true, guys. See, when I'm at the shows, I'll hide as much as I can. But the shirt I'm wearing says Chicho. But you can't see the logo in the back because I'm wearing my big old backpack. But yeah, I, I, I purposely, whenever I see people like that, I, I don't make eye, eye contact. Not because I don't want to, you know, because I come back after the words and I talk to them privately. It's just, I just want, I want you guys to see as much as possible. But I love the fact that they came up to me because how awesome was that walkthrough? That was awesome. Uh, Super Rib, big fan. I love that boat. Um, very, very nice looking boat. All right, what do we got here? We got Tigue boats. Is that how you say it? I don't know. A little bit of everything here, guys. A little bit of everything. Like I said, all you people who bought hats, I'm thanking you personally right now. I'm literally giddy inside thanking you guys for all the support because that's how I got here, right? All my hat sales and I can do content like this and not worry about, hey, is that gonna make me enough money to go ahead and go over there and back and all that stuff. So big shout out to all the people who purchase hats. Luxuryribtenders.com guys, that's my website. I got whiskey throttle hats, I got black point chicho hats. I got all types of hats. Trust me, you'll like something. Nautique. We've seen these at the shows. A little bit of everything, guys. A little bit of everything here. I think you guys can say that you've seen just about everything so far. You know, boats under 50K, rib boats, car boats. <laughs> what is this? Wait a second. Jetcar.world. Elegance Marine. This is the boat, guys. I know it doesn't look like a boat. Talk about getting all the attention wherever you go. Now, it does not look amphibious. Pretty cool. How much fun is this, right? That is so cool. Wow. Dude, I think, I think this might be the thumbnail. Right here. Wait for it. That is gonna be the thumbnail right there. Damn it. Oh, Germany, you beat me. I'm coming back. I wanna come back with the family. I, now I feel guilty. I feel guilty that I didn't bring the family. I, I couldn't bring my wife. She, well, I could have, but she got sick and she didn't want to. She, she was homesick already from the whole week in Toronto. And, but you know what, big shout out to my wife because if it wasn't for her taking care of everything else when I'm not there, which, which is a lot, you know, because you know, when you're a parent, you're always a parent. You're not a part-time parent, you're a full-time parent. So I take up, I do my part with my kids and, and now when I don't go, she's, she's covering, uh, and she's a realtor by the way. So. If you need any real estate in Florida, you know, email me or send me a message. Look at this virtue. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful, guys. 
Very, very nice looking boat. I like this. A lot of people want it as well. Okay, we just saw some of the parkers here. Oh, did we miss somebody? I think we missed uh, Suzuki. Oh, oh, I just saw something. Suzuki is in the house. What is this right here? This is another virtue right here. Smaller. This is a smaller one. I like this. What's going on over here? What's going on? Oshner. Let's see how much these Oshners are. Seven fifty Drago. Hey, uh, comment below. Have you guys seen a difference in the builds down uh, up here in Europe compared to the states? What are the biggest things that you notice? I mean, the finishes look fantastic. I, I mean, from what I'm noticing, this could be you. This could be you guys. This could be you. Right here. But you're playing around. All right, um, Suzuki again. All right, here, here's, let's see what we got here in the Suzuki booth. And then we got some Joker boats, which are rib boats. Now, if you don't know, Suzuki's, Suzuki during COVID took over the South Florida market. It literally took over the market. They, there's so many boats that have been sold in South Florida. Um, Alfonso, I, Alfonso from Atlantic Marines come to mind. This is the inside of this 350. And uh, yeah, uh, he's a huge supporter of the channel, always buying merch. And I uh, got love for those guys at Atlantic, Atlantic Marines. So. Give him a shout out. Let him know you uh, saw him here in Germany. Joker! You guys know that I'm a big fan of the Joker, right? If you don't know, now you know. I love the Joker. You know, I, I, can, I can relate with the Joker. I just don't kill people, you know? Um, but I do like the Joker, just like I like this Joker. Wow, this Joker is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow, guys, I can't tell you how impressed I am with all the rib boats that are here. And they just get bigger, dude, there's a huge rib boat back there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, so if every hall is as big as hall number three, I will clinically be dead by the time this video is over. So, smash that like button so my wife can tell me when I'm dead how many likes this video got. Because the likes is what's gonna get other people to watch this video and that's how I would make money. The way that we make money as YouTubers, guys, just so you know, is when we have commercials in front of our videos. So, don't skip all the videos. Don't, don't skip all the commercials because then we don't get paid. But if you engage with some every now and then because you want us to keep on making money, then that's how we make money. Dude, this is crazy. This is beautiful. I love this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, so open. 28-foot boat, guys. Oof. So, so Beautiful, dude. It's got a pair of Yamahas here. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, boom, there's one even bigger. A 32. I mean, man, oh man. I think I'm gonna have to come afterwards 
and do a dedicated walkthrough on this boat. Even if I can't even film it, I want to see the inside. I know you guys want to, guys, but I'm telling you, I have this big old backpack and I want to just run and gun because I, my goal is to really get to capture the entire show for you guys. So you guys can come in 2025 and you can come to the boat show and enjoy it as much as I have because this is an amazing show. All right, we're in three, heading to four and eight. All right, we did some of this stuff here. Let's keep on walking. We're gonna go to halls four and eight now. And I'm gonna pause real quick because I don't want you guys to get bored on me on the walk. Because I think we've seen all this stuff already. Oh no, look, look, no, we, we didn't. We didn't see Bayliner. Let's go to four and eight. What a freaking show, dude. I'll tell you. Oh, look, these are all the electric ones. This is all electric engines now. I'll tell you, my first experience on an electric outboard was pretty wild. The torque that those things had and how fast it planed out on a little rib boat, a small one. I did that in Annapolis. Absolutely nuts. They don't have anybody here. Do they have anybody? Are they gonna let us do this? Let's see, hold on. Oh boy, I, I got a feeling I'm gonna get screamed at. Oh, it's working. Look at this, look at this, look at this. All right guys, it's... Look at it. You don't hear anything. I'll tell you, this this would do very, very good on the dinghy, guys. My, I have a, a series on my channel called the Dinghy Series. Let me see if I full throttle this. I wonder if I'm gonna get screamed at, but whatever. I'm, I'm far away from home. Oh boy. The throttle's going, guys. I haven't, I haven't hit it all yet. That is what, okay. Okay. Uh, we're full throttle right now. We're hauling ass. Look how you barely hear it. I like that. Thank you, Mercury, for having this display here. Brilliant, smart. Here are your battery banks that you can go ahead. This is it. All right. Big shout out to uh, Mercury for bringing out some electric. I'll tell you what I like about these small electric engines is that you don't have to worry about dirty carburetors or clogged carburetors. You just go small engines when they have small little carburetors, they become a challenge guys. It's just one of those things. All right, we're about to get to four and eight. I have yet to go into four and eight. This was big. Wow. Eight, I'm sorry, hall three. We've done one and three, uh, one and three. And, oh my goodness, this place is so massive. Oh my goodness. Welcome to four. Wow. All right. Which way, oh my. There's no way I'm gonna be able to film this whole show. It's just gonna be too difficult, guys. Look where that ends up going to. All right, we'll, we'll try, we're gonna try, guys, we're gonna try. Thalman Boat Service. Silver Boat Center, I don't know what we got here. Terhi. Now, what I like about this haul so far, this looks like we're in four right now. I'm seeing brands that I've yet to see ever. So it should be exciting for you guys as well. A 
Okay, and I don't see a lot of rib boats in this section, so maybe the rib boat section was in three. Boot Fister? Boot? I don't know. Uh, guys, comment below. Sex door. This is a nice looking boat. Um, just so you guys know, there's restaurants in here. So if you do want some food, you can when you come visit the show indoors, nice and hot. There's a coat check if you have to bring a jacket. You can check in your jacket so you don't have to carry it around. We got a Buster XXL here. What's up with Buster? Buster? Where's Buster from? Yamarine Cross. Yamarine and Buster. Look at this guy. Looks very nice. What's up, Buster? I like ya. Nice looking boats, dude. Look at this. I love this flooring. Might be a little hot for South Florida, but I like it. Work, work boat, I love that. I love that. I mean, it's not, it doesn't look like a work boat, I'm saying, but you don't have to worry. You don't have to baby that floor. Yeah, guys, the more, the more that you do things that bother you on a boat, the less you use it. So the easier it is it might not be the prettiest right some of the options sometimes but think about when you're cleaning it when you're taking care of it when everybody just goes away when, and they didn't help you clean what's going to be easiest for you because it's ultimately going to be your problem and that's the reality of a boater everybody wants to go on a boat but but when you got to clean it everybody's like oh uh, damn it i just got covid five minutes ago it's crazy so yeah it's Trust me, relate. Comment below if you can relate. Quirkin over here. This, is, this looks nice. I'm liking this. Step hall. World premiere. 35 footer guys looks absolutely monstrous to say the least here's a 27 in in a in a weird way i'm dying inside just slowly because i'm in pain <laughs> but i'm like i gotta i gotta watch this whole show guys i'm gonna i won't remember the pain in a couple days and I will enjoy the video 10 times more. Yeah, I got a bum knee. I got a thread in my right knee, guys, so it sucks. I'm a young guy and I got a thread in my right knee. That sucks. This is badass. Quarking. Uh oh, we got another rib. Boom. Wow, this might be the thumbnail here. Wait for it. Wow. Like that. Look at that, he's even sliding down. Wait for it, you know we're sticking around just in case. Just in case. Uh, he's safe, all right guys. Big shout out to Nordcap for that. Free advertising here. I, everybody was waiting for him to fall. We know that. We were waiting for you to fall. We were waiting. We tried. We tried. We were waiting. <laughs> I like the rib. All right, guys. Realistically, I could probably put my back under this boat and I'll, I'll pick it up. That's how light rib boats are. I, I, obviously, I would have to use my legs. Yeah. <laughs> 
está en candela esto, bro. This is crazy. Now, in the States, when I filmed in the Fort Lauderdale on the Miami show, I actually have a video of this 100% electric boat X shore on my channel years ago. And it's good to see the changes. Now this North Star, oof. Wow, wow, wow. This will grab some attention. Huh? What do you think? Let's see what we got up here. Wow, this thing might deserve a... Hey, how's it going? Good. This might deserve a full walkthrough at some point. What do you guys think? Oh, look what's, look what's next to us. What is this? I can't believe this place, bro. What is wrong with this? Sargo? There's everything over here, guys. I want to cry. I want to cry of joy. Oof. Another one here, the 42. All right, we're going to try to see if we come back to do dedicated walkthroughs of these, guys. Yes. I don't even know the time, to be honest. I'm six hours jet lagged. How fast does it go? 225. 225? Yes. Knots? Uh, kilometers per hour. I want to I wanna try it. <laughs> oh, this is quite difficult. Why? I'm alive. You're alive. Yes. You, you, you can call whoever makes it happen. Let's go. Yeah, but it's <laughs> so expensive to drive with this boat. I'll pay. I'll pay for the fuel. <laughs> it's not just the fuel. What else do you need me to pay? Uh, the maintenance. For one trip? Yes. What about all the money I'm going to make you when we go on the trip? <laughs> That's free advertising. Let's go. Hey, I'm a big fan of Outer Limits. I'm from Miami. So okay, I've filmed guys. a lot of Outer Limits on the water, actually. Yeah. So yeah, big fan of the, of the brand. Yeah. I see him on the poker runs as well all the time with Florida Power Boat Club and all that guy. Yes, these are really nice boats, definitely. Yeah, very, very fast. Yes. Uh, so is this a customer's boat that you guys are showing here at the show, or is this boat for sale? Uh, this boat is for sale. Um, the boat, the owner of this boat is my boss, so um, he will sell it, of course. If where, where, what's your number? Where? How do we get in contact to buy it? Um, right here. All right, guys, right there. There, you, there it is. Call his boss. What's your boss's name? Um, Alfred Zuhausen. Huh? Alfred Zuhausen. I am not going to remember that. Yeah, <laughs> all, right, all right, but listen, tell your boss I that I want a sea trial. <laughs> <laughs> That's, this could get some quite difficult. All right. Now, hey, nothing is impossible. No. And Elon's going to put people on Mars. You, you can take me out on a boat, right? Yeah, if you can. <laughs> I, talk, you can talk, to your, yeah. talk to your boss. All right, guys. Outer Limits over here in Germany. Wait for it. Beautiful. Now listen, I guaranteed guys, guaranteed that so many people are going to see this boat and somebody's going to probably buy that boat and his boss is going to want to go ahead and give me a sea trial. But he had sold the boat. Nice boats, guys. Florida Power Boat Club, guys, down in South Florida. Big shout out to them. They do poker runs all over South Florida in the Keys. Sargo. Whoa, we've done some videos of Sargos in Seattle at the Seattle Boat Show, but I haven't done one this big. I don't think it's been this big, dude. This is a 45. Best of boats finalists in 2023. European Power Boat of the Year nominated 2024 Motorboats Award. Dude, what do we got going on here? Sargo. All right, let's see what's going on over here, guys. They haven't been this big, guys, in the Seattle Boat Show. 
No, I don't think they can get them in this bank. Definitely would love to do a dedicated walkthrough video. Wow, what a beauty. This, this is 45 feet and it looks like it's 70. How is that even possible? Wow. Look at this. Look at this. So when you go onto the dock, everything, it's, 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 it's hydraulically suspended. Um, a suspension. All right. Um, the 36, I think the 36 is the one that we've done the video on. I haven't done a 45 yet. Beautiful boat. I've done, I've done some videos of Sargo at the Seattle Boat Show. On my YouTube, I'm a, uh, Brian Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done videos. I, he's never brought one that big. Did I do a video? Cause I think I, I, I don't, I don't remember being that big or this is, uh, this boat is beautiful. Thank you. It is. I, I haven't, I haven't seen that one. I, I, I can't recall me doing it. I thought it was a 36 that I did a video with, with I, Brian. I don't know whether you did not, not the 45 obviously, but, but it's, um, at least he sold, I think he sold three and number four is on the way, I think. He will have it now in the Seattle Bullshow. He'll, he'll have one in the yeah, Seattle Bullshow? The 45. Well, you know what? I'm not going to the Seattle Boat Show this year because I'm here. But guess what? I want to do a video of it. Who can walk it later? I, I'm, I'm doing a, a tour of the whole show okay. right now. But I want to do a dedicated walkthrough at some point. Okay. If there's somebody that can walk and talk it like I do with Brian. We cannot do it like Brian. Why? What's wrong with Brian's style? <laughs> Why? No, he's so good. No, listen. I'm, I'm over here. You guys are not over there. Yeah, yeah. So I have to adapt to you guys, right? If you have a little bit of accent from where you're from, it doesn't matter. I mean, I talk from like I'm from Miami. People are wondering, but I just want to show the boat. Yeah. And then you know the specs of it. I'll, I'll come back mm -hmm. with some time yeah. and we'll walk it. Yeah. Beautiful boat. Sargo in the house. I'm a big fan of, of the brand. Guys, Sargo's over here. Um, Brian, smash that like, because I, I sold probably three of those boats. <laughs> Guys, I'm the best boat salesman in all of North America. Soon to be the world. All right, big shout out to Sargos. We got outer limits there. They, they, they said they were gonna give us a sea trial. I, I know, I know. I know you guys didn't hear that, but. Wait for it. This thing is nice, guys. Look at these blades. You want to go ahead and slice some uh, tomatoes? Go ahead. Look at that. Oof. Comment below if you know how much those cost. Lots and lots of money. All right, we continue walking and talking here in Dusseldorf. Yacht. Power catamarans. Oh boy. We're still in four, guys. We're still in four. Look at this. Wow. Brabus. And we got Axel Par over here. Wow. Dude, I don't even know the time. I think I think the show's closing soon. I have no guys. I have no conception of time right now. I'm just working, and I did come a little late, not because I wanted to, because I my intention was to grab the train from Amsterdam over here, but there's a strike between the bus drivers and the train operators in Germany, so. 
Basically, the guy in Sweden in Amsterdam said, hey, sir, you can't go. I go, what do you mean? He goes, there's no trains going over there. And we're, we don't think it's smart for you to go and be dropped off at the border and figure it out. So I rented a car last minute, which were unavailable too. But I ended up finding uh, an enterprise that was able to rent me a car. Thankfully, I had everything I needed and, and I'm here. Okay, XO Defender, this is nice, I like this. You see, there's, I'm gonna be here tomorrow as well, guys. This video, I want it to be. I want this video to be kind of like the, the walking tour of the show so you guys can see why you wouldn't, would want to come and make the investment to come to this German show. Let me tell you, this is a great show. It's properly organized. I really like this. This is like big time stuff. I would recommend some of you guys to spend all the money on all the other shows to maybe think outside the box and see if you can get some of your boats out here to, to Europe. Because, wow. Exo Defender. I like this. This is nice. This is, this is a nice looking boat, dude. Kind of like a bumper rail. Oh no! The show has closed off. All right, but listen up, guys. I'm going to try. I'm going to be here tomorrow from the beginning. From the beginning to the end. And uh, as I walk out of here, I knew, I knew, I knew, I, I heard a lot of giggling and, and laughter. All right, so I can't promise, guys. I can't promise we'll go to five and seven, but we, we, we did do four and we'll walk our way out with the camera and show you guys some yeah. of the wow dude what an amazing show look at this thing look at this thing guys they're gonna throw me out of here i came 1400 miles 14 i mean not 1400 miles 14 hours on a plane like this is a big thing for me i i gotta i gotta i gotta get my life's worth not even my money's worth i gotta get my life's worth I didn't realize it was going to be like oh, literally like a day and a half investment just to get here. Hall 9 to 17? Is that even a thing? Wow. Is that there are that many halls? Wasser yacht. Wasser what? To, to be honest with you, I don't even know where I'm staying. I'm staying somewhere here. And then tomorrow I'm supposedly going back to Amsterdam because I got an early flight the following day. Wow. We're walking out, guys. We're walking out. We're walking out. Primer 712 yeah, tender. Beautiful. They should have like an Alfred Montaner hour. Like seriously, come on guys. Both shows, you should get, give me a whole hour just for me. Come on. <gasps> what the hell is this? European boat of the year? Oh, dude. Look at this. What? No. Dude, this is sick. Wow. It's a hydro A hundred percent electric, guys.
I think we did it. We did. We did it, guys. We did one, three, which was massive. Four has been massive as well. And uh, wow. So we're gonna continue. I don't know if this is gonna be a multi-part series. Look how cool this boat is. Look how, look how cool it looks out of the water. Guys, when I tell you, it's so weird when you're on a hydrofoil, an electric hydrofoil for that matter. It's, it's like nothing, you feel like you're floating, literally. Like the perception of being on a boat is, it's, it doesn't even feel like a boat. Feels like literally like you have your wing, your hands out and you're just flying. It's so cool. I did an electric video. Hold on, I know we're going the opposite way, but I saw something that I think is gonna catch a lot of attention. Look at, look at this little aluminum boat, dude. Wow. I wouldn't mind doing the dinghy series on this. Oh, and they even call it a dinghy. They call it a dinky. All right, well. Guys, the vacuums are out, dude. That's it. I have to go. Hey, smash that like button. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to have to make this a, a multiple. Oh, no. We're not, we're not running out of battery. All right. I'm going to have to make this a multi cafecito, a multi video. It can't be. It's too long. So there's going to be a part two, maybe even a part three. Who knows? This place is massive. I'll try to link it to this in the end. I'm going to put some QR codes right now. So if you guys want to buy some hats, support the channel so I can continue doing stuff like this. Out from Montana making a scene as always. Guys, smash that like on the way out. Wait for it. Today's video was brought to you by Hook Optics. To get more information on Hook Sunglasses, go to hooksunglasses.com. Whiskey throttle hats and chit show gear are also available at luxuryribtenders.com. Don't forget to smash that like button on the way out.